As far back as I can remember, I always wanted to be a skater. Quinn. Hey, man. Wh- what are you doing? You can't, you, you can't play that song. Well, what else do you want me to play? I don't know, but you can't play that. It's too expensive, and I don't want to get sued, so you got to play something else. Uh, uh, we got Day In, Day Out. What? No. All right, all right. Um, hmm. Uh, no. Nope. Too expensive. No. Ah. All right, here. To me, being a skateboarder was better than being the President of the United States. Even before I got my first board, I knew skateboarding is what I wanted to do. To me, skateboarding was unlike anything else. Skaters weren't like anybody else. They did whatever they wanted. They would spend hours skating in a park or hours on the street skating, and nobody would ever bother them. It was like they were living in their own world, and I knew I had to be a part of it. Okay, Mike, I'm leaving for work. I'll be back at 9. Your supper's in the fridge. Please finish your assignment. I don't want you to feel English for the third time. At first, my mother was thrilled that I found a hobby other than playing video games and masturbating. But after a while, my mother began to change her mind about how she felt. So did you turn in your assignment? Yeah. How'd you do on it? Got a good grade? Oh, yeah. Well, I just got a message here from your teacher saying you haven't turned anything in for months. For months! Oh! Oh, skateboarders don't make any money! What do you want to be a bum? Ow! Oh! (laughs) Skateboarders don't make good money! You need to go to college! What do you want to be a bum? The city of Newburgh, home of some of the best skaters in the Hudson Valley. Hell, (laughs) some of the best skaters in New York, where all my friends and I grew up. It was our town. We would skate every ledge, every set, every gap. You see, we all grew up in Newburgh. We owned the damn city. We could shred the fuck out of any spot we wanted to, and no one would dare to tell us otherwise. Well, at least that's what we thought. The skate lounge is our usual place to chill after a long day of work or after a long sesh. The lounge is owned by Tony M, AKA Big Tony. Big Tony spent his retirement making sure we had whatever we needed. Boards, shoes, anything. He was our guy. Bro, why are you coming at me? I'm trying to defend you. Bro, did I ask you? No. Why are you even putting the plus four down? You, it's a game. All right, but we was playing peacefully until you try to get him. All right, so I'm skating the streets today, right? You know, get a nice session. Yeah. Trying this back 50. Can't seem to get it. I'm busting my balls here. <laughs> you know, this lady, she comes across the uh, the street and she's like, uh, you can't skate here. This is private property. It's like, hey, listen, lady. Listen, lady, I skate where I want, you know. So she says, all right, I'm going to call the cops. So I said, go ahead, call the cops. See if I care. So then the cop pulls up. He's like, hey, what are you doing? I was like, what, is it? what does it look like I'm doing? I'm baking a cake here. <laughs> I said, I'm skateboarding. He's like, hey, I'm going to need to see your, uh, your ID. I want to see where you're from. Oh, Get up against the car. You know. Jake. You know what I said to him? What? I said, go fuck your mother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, you're uh, a funny dude, Carlo. Jeez. What? I said, you're a funny guy, man. No, but what do you mean? 
Hey, honestly, I'm bro, just saying you're funny. I don't think he meant it like that, bro. Nah, yeah, nah. I, I want to see what he meant. What do you mean? I respect you, gangster. I'm just saying it was a funny story, dude. Like, don't trip. No, I'm, I'm not. I'm not tripping. Yeah, I mean, you said it. What? What's so funny? It's a funny story, dude. You're funny. It was funny. Yeah, I but how, how am I funny? Like, what makes me so funny? Like, yeah, the way you, the way you tell the story is funny. Hey, I, I don't know. You said it. Uh, what makes me so funny, though? That's what I want to know. How am I so funny to you? I, I, I don't. It's just a funny story, dude. Am I a clown? No. I'm here to amuse you. I, I'm a clown. That's what it is. I'm here to amuse you. I'm funny. I'm a clown. Bro, you always got an issue with what I'm doing. I swear to God. No. What are you gonna do about no. it? What do you, you got an issue never, with it? Never heard you got an issue with it? You're supposed to communicate. You have an issue with it. No, so somebody's have. Why you got the beanie on? Why you got beanie on? No one's wrong with it. Tony might have moved slow, but that's because Tony had arthritis in both of his knees and didn't really have a choice. Everybody respected Tony, <clears throat> even though he was kind of a dick. Got some serious problems, boys. What's wrong? I'm broke. Broke? I think I've got uh, like five dollars in the van. I'm in debt up to my balls. The lounge is going under. Had no luck selling boards. I gotta find a way to make some money. I thought the lounge was being paid for by your old sponsor, the royalty checks, right? You got money for that. I got booted out, the boss. He said he wanted the young guys. You know, you, you, you still make money from the lounge. I mean, we're in there all the time. We always bring people in, the place is always crowded. Come on, you guys have been paid a dime in your life. Well, I'm, yeah, we haven't paid, specifically us, but. I'm pretty sure other people do. What if we do a bake sale? A bake sale? Yeah. My mom makes some good brownies. A bake sale? Yeah. What are we fourth? What are we in fourth grade? We're gonna go to the Liberty Science Center where all the money hey, we make man, for the bake the sale. What the fuck do you want to do? The fuck am I bake sale? Do? Oh, gee. Makes a little bit of fucking money. I don't know. There's brownies, just a professional way to go about things, and that a bake what sale is, is not one of Look at where we're at right now, man. Hey. I got a guy that owes me money. A few years back. Out of pocket money, I loaned him. Start his own skate shop. Now he's got the money. He won't pay up. He owes it to me. I need somebody to go down and collect it. How about it, huh? You guys, you do this for me. Excuse me. Yo, what's up, bro? This uh, this your skate shop? Yeah, it's my shop. Yeah, dude, it's a pretty nice shop, man. You're, you're kind of young to own your own business. Yeah. How'd you, uh, you don't mind me asking, how'd you afford this place? I borrowed a little bit of money. A little bit of money, huh? Uh, borrowed from a guy named Big Tony. Yeah, it might have been Big Tony. Might have been Big Tony. Yeah. You ever uh, end up paying him back? No, I didn't get around to it. Didn't get around to it. No. Well, hey, man, today's your lucky day. We're actually, we work for Tony. We're here to uh, collect that money you borrowed. Yeah, it's not going to happen. I know Tony didn't send punks over here to collect money from me. Get the fuck over here. Watch it, bro. Look, man, I don't oh, appreciate man. driving all the way down here with my associate and I getting called a punk. You borrowed money from Tony and I get to fucking pay him back. I am gonna pay him back. You're gonna pay him back? Yeah, well, why just, couldn't you just said that earlier? Now look, now look, you got, you're up against oh, the wall, you're about on. to get your ass beat by two people. So now where the fuck is Tony's money? I don't have any money right now, man. Come on. You got some money. You got a whole shop here. Yeah. Don't I, press us. I'm, I'm gonna hit you with this. Carlo, what the fuck? What is that? It's, um, uh, monkey nuts. Monkey nuts? Yeah. We gonna knock out an orangutan with that? No, it's not for monkeys. It's just a word that they use. It's two nuts on a string. Fucking hurts, you know. What the fuck? That's your weapon of choice. That's your weapon. Do you have a weapon? Because well, that's all I got. Tony didn't say to bring a weapon. He well, just you said should always the bring a weapon from. to things like this, you know. Like monkey nuts, not like, a gun or, or a knife. This is a white neighborhood. Bear bolts, man. Bear They're bolts. Not bear bolts. They're monkey, monkey nuts. nuts. Okay, my bad. Idiot. I'm sorry. You're gonna get hit with the monkey nuts in no, about two I seconds. I really want to hit you with the fucking monkey nuts. Come on. You're gonna I'm gonna pay. Come on. So where's the money? How about we go back in the shop right now? Let's go get the money for Tony, all right? I know you got it. I just it. don't have it. You don't have it? Shit. I see that gaming PC in there. It must cost you, you guys a open? I need a new board. What? Excuse me? What? You guys open? Uh, nah, man. Come back later. I want a board now, though. We're closed. We're closed. Goodbye. Not even wax? Get, get out of here. Get the fuck out Yo. of here. Go. Leave. Go! Close. Jesus. What kind of customers you got here, man? Come on. Anyway. Now what? Shut up. Hello? 
Karen, can this wait till I get till I'm, I'm done? I'm, I'm I'm busy. I'm busy. No. Now? It can't be that big. It can't be that fucking important. Karen, just give me like 15 minutes. <sighs> okay, fine, fine, fine. All right, all right. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'm leaving right now, okay? Okay. <sighs> I gotta go. It's Karen. She says she's in some sort of emergency. It's always an emergency. If you were well, in I my can't... situation, you'd understand, Carlo. Keep this fucking punk here. Come on. Either till he pays up or until I get back. I don't got any money. You're gonna have that Come money. Come on. We'll, we'll find it. Hurry I'll up. steal it from your fucking grandma if I got it. I'm so done. Uh, all I'm trying to do is meditate and relax and just have a good day and my stupid ass neighbor is making all this noise and just being so rude and he comes over to me, he calls me a bitch, he starts calling me all these names. The guy over there said that? Yeah. And you know what he said? What? He said you couldn't even skate. How the fuck would he even know that? I, I don't know, but he, he was really rude, so you should go over and defend my honor. Defend your honor? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Okay, go in the fucking house. I'll handle it. Look, I whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. First, pass there. Blind right here. Keep your distance from me. Okay? okay? All right. Okay? All right. You I'll, come to I talk? I, yeah, I, okay. Seem like come to fuck around. Hot wheel? You got hot wheel in hand? Look, ignore that, dude. Look, I just want to talk to you. Okay? okay. Okay, then talk. My girlfriend lives across the street. Uh-huh. She said you'd be mad disrespectful. She was trying to meditate, yoga. I don't fucking know. And she said you called her a bitch, and then you said some unsavory things about me, which... I don't really know you, so I don't know how you could have said that, but I just want to okay. know, if that, is that true? What happened? I, I don't know. I hear, come over, yeah, 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 you, right there, right? Yeah, that's my, yeah, yeah, my yeah, over there. Yeah, yeah, just all, all talk. I mean, hey, women do that, man. Okay, know? I don't laugh, you laugh. I'm over here, come yeah, 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 I don't know. I don't know, I do me, okay? Okay. Maybe some back forth, I don't know. I don't remember, okay? You don't remember? Not specifically, no. Look, dude, you seem like a real nice guy, but uh -huh. I'm, I'm really sorry. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Okay. You like fuck around now? Huh? No, you're okay. good. You're good. We're good. Yeah. Hey, it's all right. I'm sorry. Right, I'm sorry. Ooh, hey. Jesus. What the hell was that? What do you mean, what the hell was that? I was trying to defend your honor. That's what you'd have called bleeding? defending my honor? It was the best I could do, Karen. I don't know what you want me to do. You failed to mention that your neighbor is an Israeli kickboxer. Well, why would you hit him? What? You made it seem like that's what you wanted me to do. Oh, my God. You are so stupid. Why? That's not how you handle things. Oh, my God. Okay. You know what? Next time, next time, I'll run him over with my fucking car. Is that, is that good? You are that such a your jackass. Honor? I'm a jackass? Yeah, all right. Go fucking weed whack. It's like this. The money we got for the job wasn't enough. So I call a favor into California. Got a guy coming up, regular pro. Who's the guy? Spencer Conti. Shit. Not that fucking guy, man. Problem with him, he's gnarly. He's a fucking dickhead. How do you know that? Because when I used to live in San Vanalona, man, he was a fucking dickhead. A dickhead? Bro, he's a... a Pro skater, he's so good, man. Like, good skateboarders don't have egos. I don't care if you love him or hate him. He's a pro, he's good. I want him on the team. You give him anything you want, you take care of him. So yeah, we were at the premiere, we wrapped up, and getting out of there was crazy. There must have been like 15,000 people there or something. And then so we're driving back on the five, and bro, the sunset, man, is Insane, just oh, unbelievable. Imagine, LA, dude, always beautiful. Just always 70 degrees, sunny, beautiful. Hey, so lit. Yo, Carlo Rossi, man, what's going on? I haven't seen you in forever. You still, uh, you still riding the scoop, scoop, uh, scooter? Nah, I don't scoot no more, man. I skate now. What, man? I skate now. You heard me, right? 
You're a fucking pro now, right? So you got a big head. You could probably got some big ears too. Listen, man, I'm not trying to disrespect you, all right? Like, uh, if I was trying to disrespect you, I would, I would tell you to go and get your scooter. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you are trying to disrespect me, man. Because I come here every day. You know, I'm here with my homies right now. We got people around here disrespecting me about shit that happened 10 years ago. I don't, I don't understand. Uh, seriously, man, I'm, I'm sorry. Like, I'm not trying to offend you. I, it's really good to see someone who's known me my whole life. You know what I mean? Like, uh, these days I see all these random people and I'm like, I don't know if I can trust you, but you... Uh, we go back and, and I always respect that. Good to see you, man. For real. Um, that shit is over. Now go home and get your fucking scooter! This motherfucking hey, whoa, whoa, cocksucking Carl, motherfucker, Carl, take it outside, bro. You're a it's fucking right. cocksucker, hey, bro. It's alright, dude. Yo, I found all the karma. Yo, why is it on the floor? What the fucking, um... Uh, no blood sugar. Oh shit, yo, I think he's bleeding, bro. Oh my god. Why do you got a scooter? And why the f why is he on the floor? Scooter, we gotta get him to a uh, hospital or something. Oh my god, bro. He's out, dude. Yo, Spencer, grab his legs. Nah, man, you grab the legs, dude. I'm not trying I'm to touch him. the car. No, it's all right. We'll just walk out. It's not that far. I'm it's not fine. carrying his body all the way around the corner. It doesn't I'm matter, bro. It doesn't matter. I'm just not trying to touch this. No way, man. It's messing up my whole vibe, my whole juju. I gotta skate tomorrow, man. What the fuck does that have to do anything, bro? He's hurt. Grab it's just the energy, dude. You don't mess with perfection, man. Just trust the, trust the method, all right? I cannot be dealing with this right now. Okay. We gotta put him in the trunk. Right, okay, I cannot right. be next to him. Put him in the trunk? Yeah, just, I don't want to be breathing the same air, man. It's not good. Breathing the same air. All right, Carlo, grab his arms. All right, but you're grabbing his arms. Okay, I don't see how that... Come on, come on. We'll flip him over, at least. Yo, man, can we get some food? I'm hungry. But not any uh, fast food, all right? No fast food? It's 4 o'clock in the morning. The only places they're going to be open are fast food places. Well, I can't be having that in my body, man. I'm an athlete. I can't be putting that junk in my body. I, I need fuel. I need energy, bro. Junk in your body. Carlo and I skate off junk food all the time. Well, We're fine. Yeah, you're fine, but, you know, there's obviously a difference in... Uh, experience and level. <laughs> Where do you want me to go? Well, you're Italian, right? Yeah, but I don't really see how that has anything to do with what we're talking about right now. Well, I just know that your mom could cook us something up at the crib. <laughs> you want my mom to cook us food at 4 o'clock in the morning because she's Italian. Well, do you want me to fucking do this video or not? Alright, let's go to my mom's house, I guess. So my son says you're a skateboarder. Yeah, I'm more of a, a pro skater, you know, I, I, I like to think of what I do as an, uh, a form of art, you know what I'm saying? And, and what these guys are doing, I mean, it's, it's not quite at that level. Like, I mean, Carlo, he started off on a scooter, I mean, like, come on, what's that? And, and, then, and then Mike, I mean, I heard he can't even kickflip. Like, come on, you gotta step it up a couple levels. I mean, come on, guys. You wanna see the painting I painted? Wow, you painted that? Yeah. That's really good, Mom. Wow, I love it. That's good. <laughs> is, is that some kind of ghostly cactus or something like that? What's, what's going on there? <laughs> hey, man, come on. My mom worked really hard on that. Sorry, I, I just wouldn't call that art, personally. Like, you know art. I mean, yeah, back in LA in my penthouse, I have quite a few uh, in my art collection. Um, this one not quite make the cut, if you know what I mean. What the fuck is that noise? Oh, <laughs> shit. Fucking alive! Dude, you alright, Nick? Oh, I am in the fucking truck, guys. <laughs> <laughs> you alright? Yeah. What the fuck happened, dude? Ask oh. him. Um. 
to be honest, uh, I was trying to hit him. Fuck it, bitch. Karen, are you nuts? I'm still gonna go out. Not without your car keys, you're not. Bro, you are fucking psycho. Am I? You spend all your time goofing off and skating with your buddies instead of hanging out with me. What are you talking about? We spend every day together. I took you to Point Blue last night and spent $300 on a meal you didn't even finish. That doesn't make you a good boyfriend. Good boyfriends are supposed to spend every day treating their girl like a princess and spending every dollar they could. A good boyfriend is supposed to help their girl's family with yard work and house sit and watch their pets for two months while they go on vacation and take them to fucking Starbucks! Don't I do enough of that already? Ugh, I'm out of here! Wait, Karen, come on, man. Come on, I'll do anything. Anything? Yeah. Okay. Do a kickflip. <laughs> Why do you want me to do a kickflip? Because you spend all your time skating, so it should be no problem to land one. If you land it, I'll stay. All right, fine, yeah. Kickflip. Let me go grab my board, and then I'm gonna do a kickflip for you. Come on, man, pick up, pick up. Hey, hey, Trini, it's Mike. Mike Perillo, from the skate park. The chubby one. Yo, what's up, Mike? Look, uh, you got a sec, I, I need a favor, man. Um, long story short, my girlfriend is outside of my house right now and she is going to leave me unless I can do a kickflip and I know that you're the only guy that could pretty much land them every single time, so I was wondering if you could teach me how to kickflip. Um, I'm really kind of busy right now. Dude, please man, it, come on, like, please, okay? Just over the phone and your best possible description how do I do a kickflip so well that it looks like I've been doing it my whole life? Listen, just pop it, flick it, and land it. Just pop and flick? That's your best advice? Dude, if I wanted advice like that, I would have just called Chris Green. Idiot. It's not like it was landing it anyway. Of course, I knew I wasn't going to land that kickflip. Hell. I had never landed one before. The only thing that mattered to me was keeping Karen. And I know that she didn't know a kickflip from a heel flip. And she had never seen a skateboard before prior to dating me. But what she was about to do was land her very first trick. A backside 180 right out of my life. When you turn 21, oh. come on, bro. Tony would not care. I'm pretty sure Tony would care. And besides, not really a good time. Yo, keep this on the low. But Tony's broke, bro. He might lose the lounge. Yo, we could get bro. some money to help him out. I mean, money from where? Your piggy bank, bro. Ooh. Got come an on, idea. Bro. Wait, I have an idea. You know how many old ass white ladies leave their door unlocked? We can go in, hit a couple licks. Get some money from it, and then we can give the rest to you and to Tony and to get into the lab. You know, I normally don't condone crime, but. But fuck it, yo. It's all right, deal. deal. All right. Be safe, though, all right? Don't do anything stupid, bro. In other news, a local youth was arrested last night for driving while intoxicated and an unauthorized possession of a weapon. The weapon isn't identified as mon- Alright, why did the script say monkey nuts? The, we the weapon is monkey nuts? How is that even a weapon? It's not actually monkey nuts? Uh, more news at 6. Uh, now, here's Daybreak by Michael Hagen. Mike, it's me. Have you seen Spencer? Spencer? No, no. Uh, I, uh, nobody knows. I, I haven't heard from him. No. It was with you guys the other night at the lounge. I know that. Have you heard from him? 
uh, yeah, he was he was out with us that night, and um, we dropped him off at his hotel, and I, I haven't seen him since. Anyway, if you hear from him, let me know. Another thing, I got bad news. Carlo got arrested. What? What happened? I don't know. He had a weapon in the car, not registered. <sighs> Monkey nuts. Huh? Nothing. I can't bail him out. I don't have any money. Fifty bucks is a lot to bail him out, man. I can't afford that. Maybe we can do a bake sale or something. Uh, one more thing. I need you guys to meet me at k Easy tonight. I got a plan. All right. Yeah, I'll have everybody meet you there. All right. All right, man. Yo, bro. What's good, yeah? Yo. What's going on? Yo, wait, hold up. What's good, bro? Come here. What up? What's good? You guys are looking pretty dripped out. Yeah. Makes me wonder. So fresh. Where's Tony's money? I don't go to math class, but all I know is we got hella bread. Yeah. Can we stop at the mall real quick? I need a new board, bro. Oh, we do? go to the mall, bro. We're gonna have to cop some shoes. I mean, I didn't Wait. So you mean to tell me you spent all that money for Tony at the mall in one day? No, bro. What are you talking about? We got the bread. Where is it? Pat. I saw you, bro. Forty dollars. Are you fucking serious? Forty bucks? Bro, why are you being so greedy? So greedy? We had a fucking deal. You said you're gonna hit all these licks, hey, and this is all you got. Forty dollars. But where's all this money for this shit coming from? Don't worry about it. So what am I supposed to tell Tony? Forty fucking dollars. Give it to him. Y'all could split that 50 50, honestly. Thanks. Are you kidding me? We had a fucking deal. $40? Yo, where the fuck did you get a car from? You can't drive yet. Yo, Mike, don't fucking worry about it. I got a real problem. The club, it's dark. I'm broke. Why? But I got a little plan, and I need all your help. A little heist. What do you mean, my nephew, Shane? Works at a uh, skate shop in a uh, shopping mall. I think you know what I'm talking about. Oh, okay. oh dude, did, did you get that at Timmy's? That's awesome, man. Well, anyway, this is my plan. So the plan was really simple. Nav, Chris, and Andy would sneak through the back door of the store that Shane would leave open for them. Once they started booking stuff off the shelves and money from the register, all I had to do was walk in, grab the stuff, and walk right back out. Yo, y'all ready? Mike texted you. Mike said, yo, y'all ready? Remember the other day he said we're going skating? We, we're skating today. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, we're going to Far Rockaway. Far Rockaway. Far
gonna find you guys here. Oh hey Mike. Hey hey Nas. Hey, hey what's up? Are you doing good? You yeah, having yeah, a good yeah, day? I'm, I'm having a fucking awful day. Yeah. No, I'm not trying to skate. Are you retarded? Are you stupid? Are you stupid? Right, back away, bro. Sorry. Yeah, you all right? I, I you good? You good? What do you What do you mean? I'm trying to say. I think we all know what the fuck I'm trying to say. The heist. Tony's heist. The mall. Us robbing the store. That was all supposed to happen today. I go into the mall as planned, and not a single soul in sight, and I almost got fucking arrested. Mike, because Mike, you Mike. What? It's the 17th. You're wild. Today's the 17th. Today's the 17th. Yes. Today's the heist 17th. is on the 18th. Today's not the heist. No. No, it's tomorrow. I thought it was on. This is what I can't do. Today is the 18th. Tomorrow's the 18th? Tomorrow's the 18th. Bro. It literally said the 17th right here. September 17th, bro. Like, what, are, what are you talking about? Fuck, kick rocks, kid. Fuck you, kid. Go on, bro. Whatever. I was never here, bro. I was never here. You still yeah. going to Rockaway? Nah. No, uh, we're not going to Rockaway. What's up? What's going on? What's good? I want to tell you the truth. Fucked up. Tony's company, the skate lounge, mm. it's all going under and it's all my fault. Hell, like, what, what, what'd you do? Trying to rob the mall. Great idea on paper, and I went in on the wrong day and fucked it up and blew our cover. You're really dumb. I know. Yeah. But, you know, why, why are you guys sitting here trying to be like, a mafia or some shit like you guys skate like make some clips from yeah. a skate movie stay away from that shit street can see oh that's a good point man it's almost like i don't know it's like the last few days of my life is just like some horrible b-movie mafia plot mixed in with some skateboarding and it just doesn't make any sense i don't know man. like maybe no, you're right. That's what we gotta do. We just gotta skate. We skate. We can fucking... We can easily bring back the company. Exactly. I, I gotta go tell Tony, man. Thanks for the advice, yeah. Right, yeah, so Before like, you go, bro, can we, can ask money for me. 20 bucks for gas? I don't yeah. need your fucking pity change. Come on. Wow. Well, Actually, okay. yeah. Thanks, man. I really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Bro. Hey Tony, look man, thanks for coming by. And I know I haven't seen you in a while and I haven't heard from you. And I know that's totally on me and it's my fault. I know I messed up, but I think I got something that might help us out. So Tony, over the course of the summer, I, I filmed as many skate clips as possible and I made an edit. And I didn't use it for anything because I didn't think we needed it. But this is kind of all we got at this point. So maybe this will help, you know, bring us some Hype back to your lounge and to just us in general. So, uh, just tell me what you think.